NASA has said that if life exists on Mars, it will likely be hidden in underground caves. NASA have said that they're going to test this theory. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory research scientists have said that this idea is one that's been heavily discussed, and that they're excited to conduct tests to see if this theory holds up. Vlada Stemakovic, who works at NASA, said the following. The surface of Mars is a very oxidizing, radiation-heavy environment, where liquid water is not very stable for an extended amount of time. It's the worst place to look for life sites on Mars. Groundwater might be the only habitat for extent life on Mars, if it still exists. Other researchers have been vocal about the fact that Mars is a harsh environment, being dry, cold and having large amounts of radiation, or things that go against there being life on Mars. However, some researchers are open-minded, and have said that there's a possibility that certain life forms may exist on the Red Planet. NASA said that underground tunnels could be hard to reach, and that small robots might be a good idea, saying that they would be able to reach certain areas on Mars that humans wouldn't be able to. NASA has said that over a thousand potential cave entrances have been mapped on Mars, and this is by the US Geological Survey's Astrogeology Science Center. Researchers at NASA have said that although the robots would be a great idea, and could access areas that humans wouldn't be able to reach, they would be extremely expensive to make. Another idea that's been put forward is that a rover could be used to sense and study underground water, with the team saying that overall this would probably be an easier mission. NASA's Penny Boston said the following, It's pretty clear to me that there's much to be done to seek life, and certainly extinct life in a variety of environments on Mars, I think we all recognise that there's not just a single way to go to search for life on Mars. My own personal opinion is that it's time to line up missions with what the community is seeing in terms of return on investment, versus the difficulty of accessing any particular environment. It's been shown with Mars a campaign to systematically look for water, and now probe other aspects of habitat. I think people are often leery of the idea, because they think of caves as mines. Mines are dangerous because we've recently made those mines, and they're shored by human structure. Penn explained that caves are not as difficult as people might think, and this could be key to better understanding Mars. The European Space Agency, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Organizations are now sending probes and rovers to distant planets, in order to see if it hosts life. These missions have piqued the interest of millions of people worldwide, and due to our technology and the various photographs that get sent back, it's caused some to do a little digging of their own. It seems though that this has worked against the organization, as people from various countries have managed to find mysterious anomalies on and around planets in our solar system. One of the most interesting discoveries is that of the Mars Tunnels. This discovery doesn't get much attention, but when it was discovered back in 1999, many people couldn't wrap their heads around what the Mars Global Surveyor captured. When the photographs started to get seen, various theories were put forward. One that received the most attention was that these photographs showed some type of ancient tunnel system. This for some was the proof that they'd been looking for, and that these structures were proof that an ancient civilization had called this place home. The Mars Orbiter Surveyor was launched on the 7th of November 1996. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The Orbiter finally reached Mars back in March of 1999, where it would then go to map the train from a low altitude. Since this date is sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists, and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us to better understand the planet's environment. 
During this mission though, the spacecraft sent back some interesting photographs that some say can't be explained using natural explanations. As mentioned, one of the most interesting ones is that of the Mars glass tunnels. These mysterious tunnels have been described as looking like large impressive structures that didn't naturally occur on the planet. They have the typical shape of what you'd expect a tunnel to look like, and are now partially covered by the surface's terrain, causing some to say that these structures are tens of thousands of years old. Interestingly, other high-quality photographs show these tunnels as looking partially transparent. This was one of the first things that people noticed about them, with some saying that because of this translucent-like quality, it made them stand out against the Martian backdrop. Another idea is that these tunnel-like systems were created by giant iceworms. Iceworms are known to live in gravel beds or the banks of glacial ice. Some have suggested that this is what we're seeing here, but on a much larger scale, again suggesting that many years ago these creatures existed and carved out these large tunnels, but some have said this doesn't explain why the tubes appear to be partially transparent, and this has caused some to put forward the idea that these may have been created by something else. Space agencies have said though that these are not tunnels, but rather are natural dunes that have developed over the years, NASA even came forward and backed up this statement. David C. Pieri, of Earth and Space Sciences Division of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said that there's nothing mysterious about these glass tunnel anomalies, and that what we're looking at is just a Martian dune. So what do you make of these recent announcements and discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.